Hey everybody, it's Scott Omato, and we're going to start a new Let's Play here on the channel. We're going to do something really different, guys. We're going to go back in time to Minecraft 1.1, and we're going to play Thomcraft 1, the first series of Thomcraft, guys. Uh, and it ended at 1.2.6. That was the last version of Thomcraft 1. Then it went to Thomcraft 2, all the way up to Thomcraft 6 now. In Thomcraft 6, uh, Azanar said that's the last version he's retired. I don't know, he said that before. We'll see how that goes. But I thought it would be really cool to go back and build a pack around Thomcraft 1. Uh, and I've included a lot of the major mods like Industrial Craft and Build Craft and Equivalent Exchange 2, which I'm looking forward to really playing. Uh, and uh, Red Power, of course. And so I may release this pack, guys. But this is like a testing playthrough. I'm not sure how stable the pack is. Uh, Minecraft 1.1 was pretty stable on its own. Uh, and a lot of these mods had been in development for two or three versions. But in combination and all that, I'm not sure how uh, stable it'll be. And we'll test uh, to see. And then we'll go over the mods somewhat as I get into them. But let's get started, guys. This is going to be so much fun playing Thomcraft 1. And I hope you're excited about this because I know I am. Basically, I've got a world here that I opened up just to get ideal conditions uh, and you'll see what I what I picked and uh, then I just have a flat world that I'll do testing in. All right, but let's go ahead and jump right in guys and get started with Thomcraft 1. This is going to be so much fun. Now, 1.1 is a very light version. Uh, it doesn't use much RAM. Uh, here I have, uh, believe it or not, there's Minecraft comes alive in this version, so I need to select if I'm male or female. Um, but we spawn here in a plains uh, next to a swamp. Swamps are very important, but you can see I have these huge trees. This is a big trees mod. Look at that tree guy. It is so awesome. Uh, so we have some sheep here and we're on a plains. So uh, basically we got to get started in Minecraft the way we normally do. Uh, so let's go and get some wood and, you know, just kind of look around a little bit. I see some reeds over there, sheep, so we can get our bed immediately. Um, cool looking mountain over there. Uh, so yeah, let's just grab us some wood real quick and uh, get started in basic Minecraft. Now, I won't do everything on camera, but I'll do a lot of stuff. I uh, just want a casual playthrough, guys, uh, just to have some fun with it. Uh, now, these trees are massive, massive. I do have Tree Capitator mod. Uh, if you use Tree Capitator on one of these trees, it is a major lag. We will do it at some point. Uh, I expect a crash when you do it, but uh, just to get massive amounts of wood so that, you know, we get that knocked out. Uh, I have a cool selection of mods, including the Minions mod, an early version of that, uh, which we will be using to do some mining. Uh, I do have Finder Compass that'll help us to do some mining. I have some overpowered stuff in here, and that's fine. Uh, I, I basically want to play somewhat overpowered. Uh, but again, the major focus is Thomcraft 1, but to get started in Thomcraft 1, we have to uh, find some of its structures. Uh, actually, Vs in this version is a liquid, which is really interesting. It uses like pipes and stuff. Let me just get like 17 logs. That'll be good. Um, and so it's really, really different from the modern versions of, of uh, Thomcraft. Now, we do have uh, NEI in here which is cool. Now I have inventory tweaks, but not mouse tweaks. Mouse tweaks was not a thing yet. So there's going to be a lot more clicking involved and there's, you know, different mechanics and stuff in this than compared to regular versions. And some of it, I remember, uh, some of it, I do not. So we'll kind of have to get used to what we have to do to uh, play. I don't remember everything about these versions and there's not really that much documentation. I did pull down uh, the old Thomcraft wiki. Uh, and you know, there's not many Let's Plays on YouTube about it. I only found one for Thomcraft 1. It wasn't really well known at that time. It wasn't even Direwolf 20s packs or anything. Uh, so uh, we're kind of making it up as we go, but it should be a lot of fun. There's a lot of automation possibilities and stuff. God, look at that tree. That tree right there is awesome. We may build in that tree. Uh, let's just try to find a cave. Uh, well, here we go. Here's a cave. Uh, and see if we can get some coal. Speaking of the devil, there's some coal. 
Uh, yeah, let's just dig down into it a little bit. Make us a stairway going downward uh, and just get some initial coal. That way we have some torches. Uh, the uh, overall uh, lighting is much darker in this version than in modern versions. Uh, I'll try to work around that as much as I can. Um, I do have single player commands if we need to do full bright and stuff like that. Get some dirt. Uh, there is a cave down there. Uh, so I'll just get some stone over here. And uh, chunks load slower in this version. Uh, these, you know, you see some lag spikes more commonly and things, but uh, generally it's light on your computer. Now I do have a uh, mod that adds XP for mining that is uh, not included in 1.1. You didn't get XP from mining, but you need a lot of XP uh, for enchanting. I do also have sensible enchanting, which is a mod that cuts down uh, the amount of XP needed for enchanting. Why did I put that down? I don't know. Uh, to bring it more in line with the modern versions, because before you'd have to have 50 levels to do enchanting, all right? Uh, now we've got it down to where it's half of that, it's 25 levels, so that's more in line with what you're gonna do. Uh, but there are potions and things in here. Uh, let's go and get an ax. I'm just gonna get the basic tools here. Uh, again, I have to click through everything, that's fine. Uh, axes are not as powerful as they are in say 1.9, so sword is your major weapon and hunting weapon to begin with. And then let's see, I'll just get a shovel and we should be good to go on our initial set of tools. I can make different handles and tool heads. That's basically what Infinite Tools does. Uh, let's see, sorry, we'll grab that. This is marble from Red Power. I'm using the DocuCraft texture pack, the DocuCraft Dark, don't see any mobs. Um, that will uh, give it a kind of a nice look. I think it fits the Thumbcraft theme quite well. I uh, hear cave noises. Uh, so we'll get a little bit of coal just to get started here. Get this gravel cleaned out. Uh, and that'll give us enough for some torches just to get started immediately with that. And then we'll go and take a look around, get the sheep, get our bed, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we may peek into this cave a little bit and see what's around. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing some iron right there. Let me go ahead and make a few torches. Uh, I don't hear any mobs. Let's see, uh, I don't want to use all the coal right now because uh, food is going to be an issue in the beginning. Uh, yeah, let's throw down a torch so you guys can see and so I can see. Uh, looks like a pretty big cave. That's copper from IC2. Uh, we won't go all the way down into there. I don't really have time, but I would like to go ahead and grab this iron here. Uh, just to get started. Maybe that'll knock us down. Uh, yeah, maybe we won't. Uh, yeah, I want to get it. Let's see if I can grab it. No. It's all falling down. Uh, it's a little harder to grab stuff, I guess. Let me just go on and go down, I guess, and try to grab that iron. I'm not going to waste it. There's more iron. Uh, that is a major drop off there. Oh, that is a massive drop off. Uh, I'm going to cover that up because I do not want to fall down into there, have mobs knock me down. Let me just run over here real quick and get that iron and we'll get out of here. I don't want to spend too much time in the cave. Be right here. Uh, there's a lot of resources. I'm not seeing any mobs, but let's go ahead and grab this iron or this might be copper. Yeah, that's copper. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here for the moment. Uh, and I'll come back to it. Dark over there. Let's just peek over there. If we can get a little light down, uh, it'll help us to come back into it. But yeah, I would definitely want to get those sheep, uh, get some seeds, get started on that. We will want to come down here and get resources. Uh, but let's see if I let myself back out. Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, I hear a pig. That pigs are good for food. You don't get any food from sheep. In these early versions, let's grab this guy. Mobs do run from you. Didn't get anything from him. Uh, you don't always get drops. Let's see. Let's grab these sheep. Uh, 
probably grab the sugar cane uh, just to get it going. Mobs will spawn here in the swamp, I believe, uh, under the trees. Now, let me just uh, sprint over there real quick. There's not a sprint key. You need to double click the sprint. Okay, and I have to get used to, again, to being able to shift click, or not shift click, but spam click. Come on, guy. Okay, uh, let me try to get some seeds. Should get flax from red power and regular seeds. Let's see if we got our three wool, yeah. So we're fine on that. Here in the plains, of course, we can get grass. If I can just get a few seeds to get started. Now, I can actually make a scythe. Maybe I want to do that. Uh, let's see here. So I didn't get that much cobble. I want to get some more. And we'll probably get some minions going here in a little bit to get our first mine shafts. Let's see what the scythe is. Or is it a sickle? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it's a sickle. So let's see what that guy is. Okay, just three cobble and a stick. Let's do that. That'll help us to get seeds quicker. Uh, yep. And a stick. Okay, and there are various versions of them. You can see there's copper and tin and all those. Uh, so let's grab this. And just grab some seeds here. Yeah, much better. Yeah, there's a flax one. I think that's the first flax we've gotten. Uh, sun's starting to go down. So we'll just put down our bed quickly. Okay, and of course there's not a magnet or anything in NEI at this time. Uh, and NEI doesn't actually fill the recipes. It just gives like a ghost display of them. So I guess I'll just sleep right here. Uh, let's make the bed. Let's see, I got my crafting right here. I still have to get used to the texture pack a little bit. Uh, some of the items aren't as easy to uh, see, but I really like this texture pack. And again, I think it's a nice theme for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our first day. Uh, I didn't see any mobs spawn. Let me be sure I'm not in peaceful, guys, because I was testing in creative. Oh uh, yeah, I am in peaceful. Uh, there is the super flat was introduced for the first time in this version and uh, there's not like any presets or anything so it's all just you know your regular super flat where there's a bunch of slimes so that's why I said in peaceful uh, but yeah that, no, no big deal uh, let's look at this mountain up here and see what we got I should actually start to get a farm going uh, I think I'll do that off camera we've seen that going but I do need to do it uh, well maybe I will because again the sooner I can get going because I need wheat uh, you actually use wheat to uh, breed the animals in this version uh, so let me just make a quick hoe here just get a stone hoe and then we'll start looking at some of the Infiniblox tools uh, and, and upgrade our tools I don't know all of the uh, like the abilities of them but I have uh, found the wiki for it. Let's just come out for. I'll, I'll just go ahead and make a quick thing. And we'll plant some flax, which takes a while to grow. Uh, flax will give you string. That's from Red Power. Oh, yeah. Let's see how many seeds I've got. I've got seven flax. I've got 15 seeds. All right, that's excellent. So we're in good shape. Uh, we should be able to get a nice garden going. I'm going to plant them in alternation. Uh, is this the flax okay the flax has to be um, hydrated first before you can plant it the soil has to be hydrated so let's let that happen uh, yeah we'll just plant them in alteration see so I'll go ahead and make another area here yeah, probably start over here as well just as many seeds as I can in the beginning so I can get a quick start on that uh, that's flax so we'll put wheat here and then see what's hydrated that one's hydrated these are hydrated yeah you can't see you can't place it down until it's hydrated I'd kind of like to go and get those uh, reeds real quick 
a, a chanting requires 30 books, 30 books before you can get a top level enchant. That's pretty crazy. Uh, but you know, that's how enchanting was in the beginning. See, I'll just get the bottoms on this. Uh, this Big Trees mod, I believe, allows these to grow quite high. I uh, see a rubber tree over there. I'm going to want to get that immediately so we can get rubber. That's cool. That's one of the great things about being in a swamp is that you can get rubber as well. Sprint. i got to double click. Sprint. I don't want to sprint too much because I don't have much food. That is a major waste of food in the beginning. Uh, but let's get these guys going here and get that started uh, let's see if we can't find some pigs or chickens or cows really we need cows if you're going to need 30 books uh, but yeah let's see what's up here uh, man that tree oh this is our first thumbcraft structure world structure here oh and look there's a slime this is a thomic slime uh, we may want to let him grow a little bit i see a wisp there's our first wisp. Uh, they're actually like these Vs crystals, flying Vs crystals. This guy will grow based on the uh, the thumb, the uh, Vs coming out of that. Uh, this mountain looks pretty cool. See, so we got some snow over there. I have the LC trees mod, so there's some colored trees. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to build in one of these big trees. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. I'm going to let that guy uh, grow a little bit because so, I need to get a Vs crystal, but we should be able to get started immediately on Thomcraft because of that. Uh, let's put down some light here. Let's see what we got in this cave. Okay. There's our first enemy. It's a Zombert. Here's Skelly. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get too far away to lose that slime. Yeah, he's shooting at me. Sorry, I'm going to go out of here for a second. I am going to... Oh, come on. Try to get that slime. Yeah, let's not get too deep in here. Uh, yeah, I do not want to lose that slime because that could be our first beast crystal, which would give us an excellent start. Yeah, you can see he's growing, or maybe. Yeah, I believe so. Let's let him get to his biggest level. So let's look over here. Now, these guys are quite dangerous. You can get Vs crystals from them. Like I said, they're basically flying Vs crystals, uh, but they are dangerous in the beginning. Uh, they shoot at a distance and, you know, you really can't defend against it in any way. So you kind of just want to not mess with those. So I'm going to go grab some more coal while we're waiting. Uh, I should go ahead and get like a charcoal made so that we can get our first uh, divining rod from Project E. Going. Right. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's watch this guy. I do not want him to despawn. Did he despawn? Come on, guy, don't despawn. Yeah, he hasn't despawned yet. So, just for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and put down a uh, furnace, make a furnace. Let's go. I don't have enough cobble. Get cobble over here. Yeah, let me grab some more cobble, guys. I think I'm going to probably dig into here. Uh, would be our first base, maybe. Let's see. Let me just grab a bit of cobble. You can see I get XP from that. Uh, my levels go up quite quick. I do have a mod that increases XP. It might be too overpowered. We'll have to watch, but yeah, 19 levels just from that little bit of mining. That seems a bit overpowered. All right, this guy is not quite at full size, but I'm going to let him get to full size. Uh, so let's uh, grab this stuff. Here we are. This is a furnace. Now, we do have a, several selections and furnace types uh, with different speeds and abilities. Uh, but I do want to uh, make some charcoal, but I need to get a regular... Um, a regular piece of wood to do that obviously let's go all right this guy's at full size let's go ahead and take him I believe that's full size and now this texture pack they look really cool yeah let's just grab him okay 
Yeah. Let's see. Did I get a Vs crystal? No. So we're going to let him grow again. Yeah, I didn't get a crystal. But we're going to let him grow till we get it. Uh, get some iron to get started so I can get a bucket from that. Uh, I can also make a breaking wand. Okay, there's the, a mod called Magic Wands. Not, not breaking, uh, Destruction Wand. I could just look at wand. That, uh, I use this mod even in the modern versions. It's part of Grim Pack now, uh, but it is a really cool mod. So let's see, the breaking wand, yeah, it's three iron. Let's get that, because uh, we can do a lot with our mining on that. Here, here, and here. This clicking stuff you got to get used to. No drag crafting, but this is a very powerful tool. Yeah, you know, let's watch that guy a little bit more. Doubt our farm is doing anything yet, but we can see I have Optifine in here. So I've got Zoom. Let's see if I see. It. There's some pigs over here. Let's go and get these pigs. Uh, yeah, I got it try to gather them together. I don't want to get all of them. So there's two right there. Uh, and here's one here and a sheep. Let's get this guy. Come on, guy. All right, so we did get some pork chops from that. Uh, the, again, sheep don't drop any mutton. It's not in this version. Uh, I don't want to get rid of all the pigs. I'm gonna keep two of them for breeding. So I probably like, until we get fences, I'll just like, I don't know, maybe dig a hole down here. Uh, I don't have any way to lead them right now. So let's just kind of keep them around, keep an eye on them. Uh, still monitoring this slime up here. Let him grow up a little bit. Let's look over the edge and see what we got here. On this side. Yeah, big swamp. Yeah, that looks nice down there. We may again take one of these trees with tree capitator. This tree right here looks awesome. We're gonna maybe build in this tree. I'm sure there's no mobs. I think mobs can spawn up here. Uh, yeah, for sure. We're definitely gonna build into this tree. Uh, these big trees are massive, massive, massive. Uh, let's see, this guy's growing up a little bit, so we're going to sleep again. Uh, we're getting toward time, uh, but I would like to go ahead and try to get a first beast crystal. That would give us a good start. Let's see if I can sleep yet. I need to go ahead and cook some food. Sleep yet. Let me throw some food in here. Got two more iron. I want to get one more just so I can get our first... Um, in here only got two pork chops but yeah i'll be going through food pretty quick so i don't let mobs spawn but i would like to get a bucket so that we can get down to y level 11 pretty easily uh, to handle any lava and stuff down there so let me see if i just see i just don't want to all right he's at full size again i believe he might be one size bigger in this still no vs crystals there we go yeah so i believe there's three or four sizes of them they're, they're kind of annoying really they do push you mobs push you in this version so a slime is an annoying thing I, I believe there's four sizes, maybe just three. But because they push you, it's really annoying. Uh, if we could get one more of these crystal, that would be great. Yeah, I think my XP is too crazy. But XP expansion, I believe, is too much. But I'll probably take that off in between episodes. Uh, okay, and these will make like a, a sizzling sound. I could have left that last one around. I did get a V's crystal, didn't I? Oh yes, okay, good. So that's what this is. This is what we need to get started with Thomcraft. We also need an Ender Pearl. Uh, so we're going to be producing the um, 
let's see what's it called the not the cauldron uh let's, let's look uh let's just do a quick look through the mods here crucible is what it's called actually let's look at the crucible uh, and there's three different versions of them uh, so we need an ender pearl to create that and then our beast crystal uh, let's look at the uses of it uh, talisman core we'll need it for the duplicator uh, which is a thing but these uh, tools these arcane tools uh, and to do an infusion that's the next thing we're going to want after the crucible is the infusion infuser thing a vis infuser okay so basically we need two ender pearls we need some redstone for a piston uh, so i'm going to need to hunt at night for uh enderman that's a big thing we're going to need in the beginning uh, let's see uh, let me go down in this cave real quick before we uh close let's see what we've got mob wise See if that skeleton's despawned. I hear him. Okay, so this looks like this goes through to the ground. Uh, there's another little branch off cave right there. Let's just throw some light down here. So yeah, this goes out into the swamp. Uh, let's see if we got mobs down here. See any? Uh, this might be a good starting point just to throw down some stuff and it looks like it's pretty protected. Somber. Spidey. Some string. Yeah, extremely dark. I do have full brightness on as far as the... Oh, look at this, guys. Okay, now. This is an awesome mod right here. Okay, this mod is called Phosphorus Caves. And it creates these uh, phosphors, basically. And you can pick them up off the block. I think you have to mine the block itself. Okay, and then they give you phosphorus. Let's see, so this one was a lime phosphorus. And then the phosphorus is can be used to make torches. You can remake the blocks like that uh, for decoration purposes. And it'll give you dyes as well. And it also is a furnace fuel. So it's really, really useful stuff, but it's also really beautiful. Uh, look at this stuff, guys. Uh, emits particles. It'll grow and spread. It has like a, uh, I'm not sure if I'm seeing it. I'm hearing a, uh, but yeah, you can see it makes little stalagmites right there. Is there a guy in here? String. Can't tell if he's in here. I hear him. He's in here. I may be willing to go for it. Uh, if you can hear that little tinkling sound. Yeah, it sounds like there's a guy in here, but I can't tell. Uh, but this stuff is awesome. So it looks like there's a pretty good amount of resources in this cave. Um, I'll want to go and gather them. Yeah, we may just set up inside of here. Let me look at this back and secure it uh, back here. It's like we're on water. Uh, yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, I think I'll set up in here to begin with. Uh, that'll just give us a, a you know, good beginning without having to dig a lot of stuff. Uh, I do have the destruction wand, so it won't be a hard problem to dig. I want to make a better staircase here. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to set up around here. I think this tree will be awesome. That tree over there looks awesome, too. Uh, well, you know, this tree's cool. Yeah, the swamp trees are amazing. Swamps look amazing with this mod. But I could build a bridge over to there uh, and just have ourselves a little compound. Along here, it's awesome to find the Thomcraft structure right in a good place where we can utilize it. A uh, slime should spawn from that occasionally. Um, let's get my bed. And then, yeah, we could build inside of here. Uh, just to get a big room going. It looks like it's pretty big. Let's look at it from the ground. Go check our farm real quick. Uh, yeah, I like put a waterfall there. I need a place to, to build a mine. Let's look around on the other side too. Uh, the wheat's growing, but it's not done yet. Uh, yeah, let's check around the other side of this. Well, we could fish in here. I need to eat badly. I haven't even been sprinting around at all. 
uh, but you just kind of go through food quite quick. Let's see. Oh, God. Yeah, definitely going to need to get a better source of food going. I don't see any cows yet or chickens. Let's see what this is like. That looks cool. Yeah. So got a, more of these big trees out here, more plains. Uh, the LC trees puts in different color trees. It puts in these bushes and such. Uh, so very awesome. But you know, this shape is quite unique for 1.1, 1 1.2 era, but you don't see it like that anymore, these mountain shapes. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, maybe we could um, try to get as close to the ground for mining as possible. Maybe we could go into the ground, like, you know, around here somewhere. Uh, I don't want to be too close to the water, but maybe here and uh, see if we can get some mining. If we're going to do that, I want to light this up up here a little bit so that uh, mobs don't spawn in it. Uh, I need to get some more sticks. But yeah, I'll use up the coal here. I think we can find coal pretty easily. Yeah, let's put a little light there uh, just for now. And I will probably mine down here. Again, I'll get the minions going in the beginning. Uh, we will go down in that cave and and I'll pull up resources in between a little bit uh, to do so. But I kind of want to show you my first cave exposures just in case something cool happens. Uh, yeah, definitely like a waterfall or something there. Let's kind of look at this at a distance. Uh, when I was, you know, looking around at seeds and stuff, then this struck me as being something very, very cool to build in. Oh man, look at that tree. That tree is awesome. That's going to make an awesome base. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this first episode. I also wanted to show you my skin. Uh, I took my skin and and changed it a little bit to put on an apprentice robe for Thomcraft. I thought that would be appropriate since we're playing version one. Uh, so back into the early days of Thomcraft, guys, it's going to be so exciting and so much fun. And we did get a great start. We got started on Thomcraft already getting our first Feast Crystal. And so we just need to hunt at night for some Ender Pearls and we'll do that in the next episode. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy this series. It's going to be really unique and different, uh, different than anything that's on YouTube. And uh, again, I do plan on releasing this pack if you guys want to play along with it uh, after we test some of the stability a little bit. So that's going to be it for this episode. This is Scott Old Model. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.